Miss. I'm Miss Douglas. Uh, you got my runaway slave, name of Jim. Oh, yes, ma'am. Come in. Come in. You're no more than a girl, Miss Douglas. Mighty pretty one, I might add. But still, no more than a girl. Uh, Jim belongs to my mom. Uh, we were staying at the hotel in town, just visiting here. You can imagine the fit it put us in when we seen you dragging our slave up the street. My ma, she took her bed straight off. Oh, poor woman. Sit down. Uh, thank you, thank you kindly. The quicker she gets that naughty Jim back to Hannibal, the better off she'll be. Oh, of course, I'll, I'll fetch him. I almost forgot. The reward. The reward? Well, it's two hundred dollars your ma offered for the capture of the slave. I'll have to get the two gentlemen that brought him in before I turn him over to you. Uh, ma's in, a, ma's in an awful sweat to get him home so she can scold him proper for running off. It won't take but a bit to get the two of them. If you mind waiting, you can come along. Uh, I'll wait, thank you. How do you do? I thought I heard voices. The sheriff went to fetch the gentleman that catched our Jim. Oh. A pretty dress. Oh, this old thing. My niece Betsy's got one an awful lot like it. She's just about your size, too. Imagine that. Betsy's staying with us for a few days. Here? Got a new baby over to her house, and her ma's got her hands full. Oh, ain't no need to whisper. Betsy could sleep through an earthquake. Uh, Have a chair. Uh, thank you kindly. Well, now. What might your name be? Uh, Sarah. Pretty name. My mother's name was Sarah. I always thought if me and Harlan had us a girl child, I'd name her that in memory. A girl child must be nice to do for her, to make frilly dresses for her and doodads and the like, to teach to cook and to sew. Oh, my ma learned me all them things. Lucky woman, your ma. We wasn't blessed but the one time, Harlan, named for his pie course. Oh, fiddly daddle, I dropped a stitch. I don't see it nowhere. <laughs> it's all right, I found it. What'd you say your name was? Mary. I thought you said it was Sarah before. Oh, yes, some I did. Uh, Sarah, Mary. Uh, some calls me Sarah and some calls me Mary. Oh, that's the way of it, is it? Yes, sir. Do me a favor, would you? Yes, sir. Thread a needle for me. Get in there. Just uh, That's it. Open it up. if I was alone, but Ma always told me spitting in public weren't proper. <laughs> All right, boy. What's your real name? Bill or Barb or Tom or what is it? Please don't poke fun at a poor girl like me, ma'am. You ain't no girl. You don't catch like a girl. You don't know nothing about threading a needle. Imagine holding a thread still and bringing the needle up to it. Don't wear shoes like a girl. Fact is, you don't wear no shoes at all. Trying to hard swaggle me. What are you? A runaway apprentice? <coughs> you treated you bad and you made up your mind to cut. Is that right? <coughs> well, what you doing here? This is a 
if they pay me if I help slaves get free. <laughs> Abolitionists. Uh-huh. Well, you're honest, I'll say that. You just tell the sheriff the truth like you told me, and it won't go hard with you. Thank you, ma'am. Could, could I please have a drink of water? I'll get you some lemonade. Thank you kindly. I always kept a pitcher of lemonade for Harlan. You do this for me, huh? After I lied to you about your pal? Well, I don't think it was right, Jim, but I never know nobody who didn't lie one time or another. Besides, I'm beholden to you for saving my life. Ah, let's go. I can't go, huh? It's my leg. Oh. Things hurt. Uh, Legs too big. Uh, oh, Jim. Uh, come on, let's go. Help me. Uh, come on, let's go. Uh, 